morning everybody welcome to an almost windless which translates as a very hot morning on Monair still having coffee um, welcome to another kiln opening the pottery on Bonaire Nukua pottery and um, I have the kiln is down here and I have some pieces from the last firing which I haven't shown you yet so let's dive in I ordered um, a new glaze from Amaco which I loved on the pictures and love in real life let me show you this is of course an oil burner essential oil burner candle goes in there oil and water goes in there and this is the purple crystal crystal by Amaco with a little line of pearl white by spectrum I love that one I also made some cute little shot glasses perfect kiln fillers I slip trailed some flamingo faces on them on these anyway and these I have slip trailed some cute little fish um, I have more of these but why show you eight of these they're all similar my poppy seeds thank you for the idea Sarah Amos uh, Sarah Amos a shout out to you um, she visited Bonaire once and fell in love like like I did and she also does pottery her channel is called the pottery corner and she has a lot of tutorials she she shows you um, how she makes things and she does that very well so I'll put a link in the description you look her up she's she's a, just adorable she's a lovely lady makes beautiful pots and go visit her she makes puppy heads she makes big ones I make small ones these are to put on a stake in your garden for people with absolutely no green thumb <laughs> these will not fade <laughs> I love it I have a few more I'll put up put up pictures on my Facebook page you can see them there this is a cute little ashtray also in the purple <laughs> that's how it works <laughs> but this time it has a little Norse blue by Mako on top instead of the pearl white I love this color combination and I have been playing around with black and some combinations this is opulence black dipped and then some pearl white on top on a brown clay I think it's beautiful I made another of these cute little ashtrays <laughs> there we go and another essential oil burner with the same black opulence and some oh there's dust in there and some pearl white around the edge one more from the last firing mug a good mug 17 and a half ounces or 500 milliliters on the brown clay again with the black and the um, pearl white so that's from last firing let's open up this kiln I have some students work in here and some of mine it's an awkward, it was an awkward firing because of the shapes of the pieces I'll take out um, the biggest one first that's on top this is a hand built bowl by one of my uh, workshop at attendees and this is a combination of um, interactive pigments with the pearl white oh I need to make room let me see let's get another sip and I'll put it out of the way mm. I have been testing some um, <laughs> that's cute um, opulence black with other glazes and made little they are little pendants but meant to use with oil as well I will 
show how the, how those will work in a in a future video. Mm. Not very spectacular, I have to say. It happens. I have a family of egg cups. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are all done with underglazes. Look at this. There's one. And there are two more ladies. I have a family out there with guys and dolls. And these are made with a mixture of my dark clay and my white clay. So I never exactly know what color they will come out. But these are good. I have two little birdies of one of my students. take out this shelf. There's not that much in there anymore because there were some big things down there and then exp two experiments. This is part of a set I have made on my brown clay with this glaze. It's beautiful. It's very rustic. This is a wine cooler. Uh, you put this in the freezer and then put in put it in the freezer for two hours then put in your chilled wine and no need for water no need for um, ice it will stay cool for at least two to four hours isn't that gorgeous I'll put it there this is also students work it's a big one taking off the cookie. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry, but it has cracked on the bottom. It won't, this won't need to hold water. If I'm correct, this is going to go like that. That's how she intended it. This is also interactive pigments. This is autumn foliage with a zinc free clear. And then we're almost done. Two experiments of mine. Here's a bird feeder with three glazes and I didn't really know how they would react. No, I didn't put it on a test tile first. I was very brave. There's a matte yellow glaze, then there's a green-ish glaze and then there's a blue glaze. I think I could have put a little bit more of the blue on. But it's a nice landscape, don't you think? Yeah, very good for a first try on this combination. And then the last one, also a first try. I have it on a cookie because I was afraid it would maybe run. So it was, oh gosh, that's pretty. Um, it was like this in the kiln, but you know, nothing happened. That opulent slack is very stable. So it's a very good one. I have noticed to um, make combinations with. Look at that. That has turned into a beautiful burgundy. There's some sh slip trailing under there. You can see the texture. I did that with the same clay body. That is beautiful. I'm happy with that. Probably also 17 ounces. Big coffee, coffee mug or tea or well, whatever, you know. Well, that was the last one. Um, I'll be firing again soon. And um, yesterday I was throwing mugs.
one. Sarah, thank you for the shout out. She uh, bought a mug fr from me. And um, this is one of the mugs from the same series. It's not glazed yet. It's my Scrofito turtle mugs. It looks dull now because it doesn't have a glaze on it yet. This still needs to be fired. Uh, yesterday I was throwing the bodies for these mugs. So today I will be trimming them, putting a handle on them and then decorating them. So um, I say thank you for joining me and um, I'd better get back to work. See you next time. Bye bye.